Hey guys, hey guys, what's up, what's up, welcome to the stream. Alright, today we are going to be playing a game. Who exists? Yes, this is a new Z-Boy Games game, yeah. It's about the magical grills that are, uh, that's a grill the bad guys, like, uh, like meat, yes. Actually, I did make a character that was like that, that was just a magical grill. Yeah, it was a gr yeah, uh, she was literally turned into a grill. That's a magical. <laughs> yes, I did it as a clever joke th and thought it was funny. <laughs> did everyone do the reading? What? Wait, reading? Wait, wait, what? Reading? I only know how to read manga. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, any weeb knows how to only... The next hack, there's supposed to be a test on it today. Whoops, give me the quick highlights. <laughs> Pretty well. I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. Nah. Sweet, we got another substitute. Blow off day. But I spent all night studying. Oh no, we got another substitute. It's very strange that we keep getting all these substitute teachers. I'm sure it's not going to become a plot point or anything. Wait, is it going to become a plot point? Hello, I'm your new substitute teacher. And then the next day, I'm like, hello. There's like, hello, I'm your new substitute teacher. And then the next day here in class, it's like, hello, I'm your new substitute teacher. Hmm. Honestly, it kind of, honestly, they keep rotating between all these different substitute teachers for some reason. Yeah, it's very strange. One could even say kind of sus. Perhaps, perhaps, yes. <laughs> Perhaps it was part of, perhaps it's part of the machinations of the villains. Oh no. <laughs> Listen up, worms. Oh what? Oh what? What are you doing by calling us worms? Get out of here. Uh, where's Miss Lofgreen? Miss Lofgreen has been dealt with. Wait, what? Are you actually a villain? Wait a minute. Of course. It's a villain. Oh no. Well, I knew that by just met them calling us worms, of course. That's because I'm not your regular teacher doesn't mean I'm going to be easy on you. And to prove that, you, detention! Oh, now it's one of those teachers. I know who you are, you're actually fail grade. The evil teacher. What now? What, but Imogen didn't even do anything. Talking back to the teacher, detention! Detention for you! Detention for everyone! <laughs> Can she do this? Detention for you! I guess. Leave down, you'll be sorry! Okay. Uh, hello? Nobody's here. Are you sure this is detention? I've never been here. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, is this gonna go on my permanent record? Yeah, this seems like one- This definitely feels like fail grade. It's definitely probably a trap of some sort. Possibly a death trap, just like the Pokey in from Mara from Matilda. I'm positive this is the right place. Not that I've been here before much. <laughs> Shouldn't there be some teacher here to supervise things? There's there's a lot that's weird about this. I knew it! The, the evil substitute teacher is actually a villain! A oh, fail grade. Alright, fail grade, prepare to... <laughs> Alright, fail grade, prepare to... Prepare to, um... Something, something, school pun. <laughs> yes, I have a song. I have a song for this. Hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. <laughs> Any entire classroom where there's three that pick the, uh, go to detention for whatever for no reason doesn't it seem suspicious? Yes. Yes, you see, I, an evil supervillain in league with the forces of darkness, have decided to become an evil substitute teacher in order to, um, deal with the magical grills so that they will not interfere with my evil plans. Yes. Yes, in retrospect, it's... Yes. <laughs> it almost feels like we're dealing with the Yurk, apparently. Uh, what do you mean? Yes, it's clearly the work of the Yurk. <laughs> From Animorphs. It almost feels like a trap. That's because it is. 
<laughs> I didn't think you figured it out so quickly. It turns out it is indeed a trap. Yes. <laughs> you know, I could be out there, you know, doing actual evil stuff, but I decided to come here to, I don't know, do some minor trolling, I guess. <laughs> uh, what have you done to our teacher? You see, it was I who was actually behind all the substitute teachers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you... Don't worry, she just got a little cold, which is more than I can say for you three. Wait, what? Are you the Snow Queen? Transformation time, let's go! Alright, Moon Prison Power Up Activate! We're going to defeat Felgrade and her evil, um, Apple Robot again. <laughs> yeah, she really does have an Apple Robot. Alright, watch out, watch out for the F, watch out for the bad, t watch out for the bad test scores. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's no wrong answers in this classroom because I killed everybody that gave me wrong answers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's a bit like Baldi, you see. <laughs> yes, I... <laughs> You've interfered with my master's plans too many times for me to let you leave here alive. Of course! Oh yes, this definitely is a magical grill villain. That's what you think. Also, who the heck is your master? Is it Cthulhu? What? What are you talking about? Oh what? It's actually a demon teacher? Oh no! <laughs> well, I mean, Felgrade is a very evil teacher, but she's not literally a demon. <laughs> Alright, prepare yourselves to meet the power of justice! Prepare to be toxified! Mm. Alright, now let's aspire to greatness! Oh no, she's attacking! That's okay! Feel my bear attack! Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Unbearable? Time for the guilty verdict! <laughs> Alright, now prepare yourselves for the big... Prepare yourselves for the big attack! Here I come, bouncing at! Yeah, how do you like that? Yeah, you got inflicted with vulnerable. How do you like that? All right now, uh, I'll save my big heal spells for later. All right now, we can use the bear attack to go for big damage. I don't actually need any of those moves. All right now, go for a piercing attack. All right, good thing that poison is coming in. Oh, she's actually hitting pretty hard. I need to be careful. Good thing I got this party here. Let's heal everybody up. Alright, random damage time. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, fit. evil demon teacher defeated. That's that's for getting our teacher sick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, we don't want our teachers to get sick. You may have defeated me, but you're only delaying the inevitable. Soon your whole school will be full of darkness within darkness. <laughs> Trust my sash. Mm -hmm. Right, we can take we can take anything you throw at us. <laughs> uh, we need to talk to the others about what happened here. Also, does this mean the detention goes on our record? You were attacked at school. Yes, it turns out the bad it turns out the bad guy sued that we were going to a generic uh, high school. <laughs> Luckily, we defeated them before they could do much more dam before they could do much damage. But they swore that they would um, unleash the forces of darkness upon the school for some reason. Yes. <laughs> yes, for some reason the school is the target they have chosen, where the heroes are that that, that can oppose them. <laughs> <laughs> In retrospect, it seems like a very bad plan just to uh, mess with the school. <laughs> By a teacher. Yes, a teacher that turned that turned into a demon, apparently. Not an actual teacher, a monster taking on the form of a teacher. Which, uh, I'm sure we all know teachers that are actually like that. <laughs> hey, substitute teachers are actual teachers? I mean, well, uh, yeah, but this was a substitute teacher from hell. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> I mean, it, it. I mean, because it wasn't actually a. De <laughs> I 
Ha, <laughs> well, uh, yes. What, are you saying demons can't be substitute teachers? <laughs> this school must be, must be a nexus between worlds, a place where barriers between dimensions are especially narrow. I mean, of course it is! Why would it not be? <laughs> Yes, uh, but how does that explain the attack on the grocery store or the attack or the uh, evil arcade game? <laughs> mm. Hey, what? Thank you, uh, Punishable Horde. Thank you very much for the raid. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I might. I think I might have something for this. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, thank you. Mm, what do you mean? I've been working on a handheld device to detect the presence of things from outside our world. <laughs> if there's anything dangerous lurking at the school, it should be able to tell us where it is. Hey, thank you for the pun raid, yeah. Great, let's sneak into school tonight and beat up anything we find. How am I doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Hey, we can't just sneak into the school after hours. Yeah, that's when all the spooky stuff happens. We could get haunted by, uh... We could get haunted by all the, or like the seven mysteries or something, I don't know. <laughs> Like we could, like we could run into a ghost that's hunting a toilet or something. <laughs> no, Miranda's right. If we go searching during the day, it'll make it hard for us to fight off whatever we find. Yes, because we'll have to protect civilians, you see. Yes. And the back door to the gym is always unlocked, so let's just go that way. Wait, what? We're just gonna... Why is the back, why is the back door to the gym always unlocked? I mean, that seems like a bad, that seems like a bad thing. <laughs> then that's a plan. Feel a rustle, and myself will sneak into the school tonight and see if we find anything. Mm. I want to go too. Sure, Miranda, you can come along. Feel a rustle, Miranda, and myself then. <laughs> ah, we're actually reasonable. We actually wanted them to come along. I still, don't th I still don't think it's right to sneak in after hours. Mm. I mean, the school is under attack. The school was just attacked by a demon teacher who pretended to be a substitute teacher for the forces of evil. And they threatened to bring darkness to the entire school. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much just regular school, though. <laughs> Do you think I should bring some sex tonight? I, I've got some energy bars we could use. I mean, the energy bars are full of sand. <laughs> I'd love to surpass the, our last performance, but I... Can't find a place for much ado where pyrotechnics would be appropriate. I mean, considering what happened last time with the pyrotechnics and you almost bring the whole theater down, I think we need to chill out on that. And thank goodness for that. When nightmares start entering the human world to do away with our young heroines, they come up with a daring plan to search the scene of the crime in the dead of night. What are you doing? I'm just citing something I read out of a manga. It's about this thing called Magical Girls. Perhaps you've heard of it. Doing some, doing the recap narration, it happens in every good Magical girl story. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's very true. Make sure, to te make sure to test me if you find anything dangerous. I'll be right there as soon as I can. You're just trying to get, get out of studying for the test you have tomorrow, aren't you? Ah, uh, well, uh, well, I mean, uh, well. <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Alright, now. I can't believe they just left this door open. Yes, it's almost like it's very convenient for the plot. <laughs> don't they know every... Don't they know everybody just jumps the fence at, when they want to sneak in after hours? Not that I would know anything about that. Definitely not. I'm afraid picking up some signs of otherworldly presences. Let's look around. Mm. No readings here. Let's go somewhere else. I mean, a gymnasium seems like a place where bad guys would go. The readings are picking up. We must be on the right path. Oh no! What if the principal turns out to be a demon from from um the kid that wants to bring the darkness to the school? Actually, we have. Wait, what? There's a there's a portal. Oh no! Very strong readings here. I think something is entering our world. I mean, it's pretty obvious there's a giant portal right there! Transformation time! Alright, now, Moon Prison Power Activate! <laughs> oh, yeah! 
This is good. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Oh good, we got Rosalyn with us. That's gonna be good. <laughs> Alright, now let us work. Let's prepare the big one. Alright, Miranda, get ready. <laughs> All right, now, let's go. All right, now, oh no, a bad, oh no, a bad guy came out. Oh no. All right, prepare yourselves, vile villains, to um face the powers of justice. Oh no, home monitors. Oh no. Yeah, they're mad with power. Oh no. Night guns. I know, I recognize them. They're from, they're from Lovecraft. They're from Lovecraft. Evil hull monitors. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's aspire to greatness. All right, now take that, you hull monitor. Oh no! All right, now raging fire. Go! Oh no, they're attacking. What are they even attacking with? I don't know. All right, take that vulnerable time. All right, now go for, go for it, tiara toss. All right, now. There we go. Got rid of the hull monitor. That take care. That takes care of one enemy. Freeze and freeze and flames of despair. All right, we do need to heal. All right, now. Take the light, take the light damage. Hmm, mm, I've got my extra turn. All right, now let's get that hyper going. All right now, wind, wind attack, go. All monitor deleted. All right now, whoops, oh no, she's getting low health. That's okay. Eat clever strike, go! Adversaries purified. Wow, 10,000 XP! The Stratford upon Ephon High Trauma Society is now level 23! I learned a new ability, befriend! Proactive. Brangable, I don't know what that is. Adversaries purified. What on earth is that thing? Nothing on earth. I hope that's all of them. <laughs> I mean, we did just fight a night nonce. Those things are quite dangerous from what I'm told. It's nice to get some fresh air, isn't it, Neko Dragon? Oh yeah, we bought a Neko Dragon. Meow. You have a flying cat? I love flying cats! Actually, it's a dragon. And also a cat. It might also be an alien, like those green cats. <laughs> no, it's a flying cat. There's no such thing as dragons. Wait, what? You're saying there's no such... But wouldn't there be no such thing as flying cats? <laughs> but there are sky puppies, yes. See, it's even meowing. After long and heating argument on an uncaring Necro Dragon's behalf, Imogen goes back home. I'm your English teacher. Miss Lofren called her house currently surrounded by a swamp <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Is she in the? Is she in link with the forces of darkness, and that's why she's in trouble with the SWAT? When the situation is resolved, she'll let us know. I see. The forces of darkness decided to do the most evil thing they could think of in order to deal with the teacher that was in the way of their plans. They decided to SWAT her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Spanish teacher, Miss Al Miss Othar, and we will continue on your current your union on the current play, Sibylline. What is that? We have a student named Imogen here. Our, our prof, our propress, Imogen Perfavor. Tell us why Ro, my Roman Britain go to war in the story. Don't fail me now. Uh, and oh, day. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Oh no, I guess I failed. I guess I failed the questions, but that's okay. Yesterday I got I got some new Shakespeare scripts. Not that I've read them before, it's just that these copy these copies had different colors. That's not too weird, right? Right? Sure. Do you think we'll ever do more sinking? It was fun. No. Do you enjoy did you enjoy Spanish practice? I thought it was a touch beginner. Wait, wait, no. Show off. I have no idea what she said. Have you ever tried opening a portal for fun? We always hang out. We just always hang out here, but maybe we could hang out in one of the other worlds. Super not. I'm still playing the lead as such. And as such, I want no pyrotechnics and absolutely no improvision. <laughs> but that's part of the fun of this game. It's full of that kind of stuff. Uh, honestly, yes. Right now, um... Oh, yeah, we got a new trait. I might as well get rid of that one and get... No danger if enemy has max HP. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. That does sound good. Wait, you still have magical on? I apologize. I'll fix... I'll just... I'll just get rid of all those... All that junk from my parent. I'll just get rid of all that junk. Everything is good there. Uber friend, 100% charm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that charm might come in handy somehow. I don't think I like that one. Vulnerability. I think Spike would be much better. Right now, let's see what Rosalind has if she learned to. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Right now, neutralize, madness, versus resist, huh? Reiterate, replete, last element. Right now, 150% vulnerable. I mean, vulnerable is very good. Alright, please tell me you have something. Nope, apparently not. That's okay, uh, let's... Right now, I think I just talked to everybody, so I'll just go. Right now, hopefully we're going to get to the next world soon. What, my dear? Lady Disdain, where, where... Are you yet living? Is it possible that Disdain should die while she hath such mets? Such meat food to feed it, Mr. Senior Benwick. You're so terrible at everything around you is terrible. Percy itself must convert to the same if you were to come near her presence. You'll make good things bad and bad things better. <laughs> the countless of the courtesy of a, tur a turncoat. But it is certain I love all ladies, only you accepted. Ah, uh, well, um, everybody else loves me. <laughs> I'm too, but I'm too good to date. Mm. Thank goodness you won't date because you were just the absolute worst. And I thank God in my cold blood that I am to humor you for that. But I'm the same way. Wait, what? Yeah. I had, I, I had rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he left me. Thank goodness. Or a gen or some gentleman or. Others shall escape a predestined scratched face. You've got nails that you've got nails and you're not afraid to use them. Oh wait, we're gonna wait. <clears throat> oh well. Well, you are a rare parrot teacher. Bird brain. My bird, a bird of, of my tongue is better than a beast than you of yours. Na 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 na. I'm better than you. <laughs> I mean, these translations are super fun. All right, now let's go. That I am disdainful that I had a good writ out of my hundred merry tales. This game is not just an advertisement for Shakespeare's Jest book. 
<laughs> well, it was been Sir ben Senor Benrick was said so. But Benrick, who I not at all secretly have a crush on. What is he? Say who? Am I sure that I know him well enough? Do I know you're actually Ben Drake? Who knows? <laughs> Nor I, believe me. Does he ever make me laugh? Surely you made fun of him. I pray you, what is he? What is it, man? A miserable little pile of secrets! <laughs> oh no! No, not. <laughs> Mankind, a cesspit of hatred and lies! <laughs> Die, monster! You do not belong in this world! Oh, but this world invited me! <laughs> yeah, I was called here... I was... Your people called me here with praise and tribute! <laughs> Why, is it Princess Jester a very dull fool? Only his gift for devising impossible slanders. Yeah, he's the class clown! <laughs> yes. Yes, he's the class clown. Yes, from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, he kind of used to be the funny guy um, back in clown control, but then he became a zombie. Due to the influence of Zombie World under, uh, after his soul got sucked out by a soul-absorbing bone pillar, you see. <sighs> None of the libertines delight him. The commendation is not of his will, but of his villainy. Uh, yes, I love to twirl me mustache. People are laughing at him, not at with them? Oh, well, yes. That is what people do when they're very silly, yes. Where he pleases both men, where he pleases men and angers him, and they, and then they laugh at him and beat him. He's, like, so annoying, you know? <laughs> I am sure he is in the feats. I am sure he's in the fleets. I would know he, he had boarded me. I'm ready dancing and stepping on my feet. Also, insert double in time track. Yeah, wait, what? What? Mm. I would he boarded me. <laughs> hey, yep, that is definitely a double in time track. <laughs> when I know the gentleman. <laughs> I'll tell him what you say. I'll let him know. Also, ooh, we both know who I am, right? <laughs> Too, too, he'll break the comparison into it on me. Mm. Actually, no one will laugh and he'll be sad. Then there's a partridge wing save for a fool will eat no supper that night. And then I'll skip dinner and I'll be able to eat all that leftover pizza by myself! Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, what the yonder seem familiar, and to the chapel let us presently. It's the Marriott time! <laughs> yes. My favorite time in a Shakespeare play was when um, that one dude said, uh, it's marrying time, and uh, married that one person. Soft and fair, Frere. Which is Beatrice? Beatrice, are you in a box? Are you in a, Are you with a fox? Does your head bear rose with dreadlocks? What? <laughs> I answer to that name. What? Is your will? Yeah, it's a me, ma. It's a me, Beatrice. Do you love me? Do you not love me? I'm so insecure for whatever reason. Why no? No more than reason. It isn't a competition, people. Why then, your uncle and the prince and the Claudio have been deceived. They swore you did, and then your friends passed me a note saying you, you thought I was cute. Yeah, I'm not cute, by the way. <laughs> Do not love me. I am so insecure too. <laughs> Truth, no, no more than reason. Don't make me say it. <laughs> Why, then my cousin Margaret and Ursula were so much deceived, for they swear you did. But my friends passed me a note in class saying you thought I was cute. Oh no. They swore that you were almost sick of me, sick for me. Uh, like, you totally had the hots for me. <laughs> they swore that you were a well, well nigh dead for me. Not as much as you had the hots for me. Alright, let's be friends. Dang, we got friend zone. Get a room. 
Come, cousin, I am sure you, you love that gentleman. <laughs> Already. Oh, no. I have evidence. Ignore the chocolate sayings. They were on the note I got it. Mm. Mm. I am a pick. Oh, no, what? Oh, no, you're a pickpocket. I wonder if it counts as human any service. I will not deny you, but by this day, I will yield a great persuasion. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I guess we can get married, I guess. And a party to save your life, for I am told you were a... You were in consumption. I'm doing this as a favor to you. Peace, will you stop your mouth? I will stop your mouth. Shut up and kiss me, fool. <laughs> We just got a disgrace skull from Rosalind in a world of as you like it. The Rosalind in that no dimension will no doubt look just like me. Will look just like me, no doubt. What's the disgrace skull about? Apparently, she's lost in a forest. All right, good. All right, see you later, Punishable. All right, thank you. All right, it's time for a dungeon. She said the forest was actively trying to confuse her. Wait, what? The forest is actively trying to confuse her? Titania? Uh, Titania wouldn't do this, would she? Also, fairies are trying to kill her! Oh no, Titania, what have you done? I never did trust fairies. Hey, uh... <laughs> I mean, uh, we are uh, pretty well known for... Mm, trickery, I guess. Weird forest full of killer fairies, what are we waiting for? Activate dimensional portal. All right, finally, we're at me action. Peace, I say. Good even to you, friend. Here in the forest of Ardren. I, White saviors, hear my call. These trees hide, many, hide grave dangers and fairy folk abound in, around in the shadows. It's time for a forest dungeon? Have no fear, the magical grills are here. Time for time to transform. Yes, we need it. <laughs> Obligatory transformation sequence that we need, um, that we need, yes. After all, this is Magical Grill and anime. It would be a crime to skip the transformations. <laughs> ah, man, we got Miranda with us. I really wish we had Beatrice instead. <laughs> Sorry, I think Beatrice is a little more useful. Ah, there's Beatrice. Okay, I guess we have her. Mm. Alright, Rosalind, get ready. Mm. Alright, let's do it. It doesn't matter how creepy this force is, we'll find a way out. Alright, so you say. Oh dang, it is it's it's full of shrooms. That's how you know it. Stop in the name of the fairies! It's an actual real life fairy I always wanted to meet one since I read in the books that were in the Stim Fairy series. Wait, Stim? Uh Stim Fairy series. There was a biology fairy, the computer science fairy, and don't forget the Neutronian physics fairy! Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, are you sure? This sounds a little like the Winx Club, only much more scientific, maybe. Good books were better back in the day, weren't they? I guess? Isn't that a tiny fairy wielding a tiny submachine gun? Wait, what? Ah, uh, what? These fairies have guns? Oh, no. Of course not, they were books for kids. No, no, no. No, I mean the fairy in front of us. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh no, you're right. All right, evil fairies, prepare yourselves to meet the powers of justice. Take this, get disarmed. All right, now, random damage. Yeah, how you like that? Aspire to greatness. All right, now. Right now. 
All right, what are their weaknesses? They have a weak. Seems like they're. I see they have a weakness to wind. All right now, let's do the wind attack then. There we go. That how that's how you do them. All right now. All right now. Time for. Time to inflict the vulnerable. All right now. Uh, 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 uh. Let's toxify one just in case it survives. TR time! Yeah, how you like that? Give me my XP. Fairies travel in packs. We should be more. We should be on the lookout for more attacks. Wait, what, Miranda? Why are you rhyming? Did your book series teach you that? Teach you that? What? Um, rhyming is just standard practice for old school fairies, I guess. It kind of fell out of favor during my generation, though. <laughs> of course not. I don't get all my knowledge from fairies about fairies from children's fantasy book series. I did my own independent research. Yes, you see, um, I, you see, when, you see, I also, I have a pet fairy, yes. You looked up some stuff online! <laughs> yes, uh, yes I did. Yeah, that's what I said, yes, that's, uh, true. Oh, I see. Yeah, I did, like, my own research and stuff, and by that I did, like, a quick Google search. <laughs> Of course. I mean, that's how one does all their research. <laughs> all right, prepare yourselves, you foul villains. Uh, seriously, what are you? You got, we got evil fairies. It's a blade wisp. It's an expert in plunge attacks. Yes, it, uh, yes, it's a sprite made of swords. Right now, take... All right, now they all now appear. They all appear to be weak to wind. Aspire to greatness. Oh no, they're attacking. Ow, ow, ow! All right, primordial forces consume ya. All right, now. Oh wait, oh wait, I got an idea. All right, now let's inflict vulnerable on them. All right, now let's inflict a random ailment, I guess. Alright, if it survives, it will get... Alright, if it survives, it's stunned. Get frozen today! Yes, we have to say silly one-liners every... Wait, what the heck is that? What? That tree appeared out of nowhere! Tangible is intangible, tangible is... Intangible is tangible! All the forest sweeps under the fairy influence. How are we supposed to get through them? They're just an illusion. If we check each obstacle and don't take any for granted, we'll be just fine. Yes, we fairies are very skilled in the arts of illusion magic. Ah, what? You're telling me that's not actually an illusion. I guess we'll have to defeat the fairy minions in order to um, clear the illusions. Alright, you vile villains, prepare yourselves. Oh no, I recognize these guys, aren't they? Uh... What lawn gnomes? Duplicates itself when no one is looking. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, not lawn gnomes. I re I remember that one RL sign story. Yeah, eat the powers of Earth, which apparently gnomes are weak to, even though that's their element. Yeah, even though Earth is like totally your element, we're like weak to Earth, I guess. Honorable time. All right, that gun back disarmed. TR time! Ah, uh, that really didn't do much. Alright, let's go with a big row attack. Alright, I probably should have used Earth instead. Yeah, they're not hitting that hard, really. I got another idea on how to deal with them. Alright, let's get toxic! Get some region going. Alright, let's use a dark let's use the big dark attack. Alright, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Good thing they're toxic now. Ooh, I got stunned. That's not good. I got an idea. Oh, that didn't really do as much damage as I thought it would. 
Point strike, there we go. At least it's um getting I'm getting Alright, we might as well unleash the poison bane. Alright, we're now level 24. Ooh, we learned reversal. Worky! Oh no! That's like the worst trait! <laughs> No, oh, no, not quirky, no! <laughs> no, not quirky! Boost party- Boost party damage if Miranda has been defeated in battle. What? <laughs> oh my god, so quirky! <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, um... But disarm power, we might as well go with that. Might as well just go for the bigger traits just because they got bigger set. A reversal, what's this? Survive if desperate. I see. Great well. But I guess that's another illusion that we have to defeat. And I mean, fairy four. All right, now prepare yourselves, about villains. Uh, the blood ailment plus. I mean, ailment plus doesn't sound terrible to be fair. All right, let's start weakening their stats. Let's aspire to greatness. Damage up. I'm not sure what they're attacking with, but it can't be good. Might as well go with the wind attack that does the most damage. Alright, okay, now, uh, let's see. Oh, charm, there we go. That's a good roll. Yeah, take the vulnerable all them. Yeah, take that big attack. There we go. There we go. We because they weren't break the earth. Not that it matters. The fa enemy fairies were easy to deal with. Wait, that one's actually an illusion. Ooh, shield breaker inflicts vulnerable. Okay. All right now, where do we go from here? All right, villain. All right, villains, prepare yourselves. All right now, uh, Ogress, not your garden variety fairy. Uh, well, the lawn gnome seems a lot stronger than the. All right, might as well disarm them so they aren't doing a big bunch of damage on the first turn. But I'm poisoned. They're poisoning. Oh, they poison. That's not good. That's bad. Let's see. They got a weakness to light. And you've got a weakness to earth. Might as well do that to lower your... Alright, now let's start inflicting ailments. Ooh, stun. That's good. Alright, let's vulnerable them all. Go for the big light attack. Ooh, that took them out. There we go. That's how we roll. That's how you do it. Okay, so I think that might be progress there. I see all these paths look like progress, really. I'll just check on what's down here first. It's gonna feel like I'm gonna go in circles for quite some time. Mm. Oh well, the good news is the enemies don't actually respawn in this game, I think. Alright, now let's get let's disarm them so they don't do a bunch of damage. That way we can set up the big hit. Oh no, I'm poisoned, that's not good. Alright, they're weak to win. Alright, a lot of these guys are weak to wind. Might as well take down one bad guy. Alright, hopefully... 
Hopefully it does this is Ooh, and inflict vulnerable. That's good. Alright, let's inflict vulnerable on them all. We can hit with a big bite. So we can hit with a big tiara attack. That earth attack wasn't very effective, but it did the job. It did a job. It did a job, I guess. I right, yeah. More vil more vile villains to defeat. Alright now, uh, let's see, uh Right, they're going into the poison. This one flick big enough damage on that guy. Right now, get ready. Alright, the Aslan gnomes are the Aslan gnomes aren't that dangerous really. That's an objection, there we go. There we go. Over there defense. And then we have a big nuke attack. There we go, earth on them. Now they're hitting kind of reasonably hard. I mean, none of those United attacks are actually going to be helpful. Hmm. Alright, let's try poisoning them all. But they're powering up, that's not good. That means they're gonna hit even harder. That means they'll hit really hard, man, that's not good. Here we got the poison main did enough. Alright, hopefully this Inferno does a lot of damage. So that did good. Alright, now we're level 25, Avenging. Alright, and people gain more power. Enterprising, that's good. More traits are always good. At least that's what I'm finding in this game, anyway. Inspiring. Damage and resist go up for each fallen ally. That sounds decent, I guess. No trades for that. All right, let's see who gets. Uh, you don't have any new trades, okay? All right, Rosalind, do you have any new trades? All right, let's get rid of resourceful. Enterprising boost ice damage. I may as well. All right, villains, prepare yourselves. Oh, what? What the heck are these? These are some new monsters. I don't like it. Halloween tree? I'm afraid of his work. Wait, what? Dreadicorn? Going through a goth phase? Alright, let's disarm them so they will do less damage. Oh, it inflicted dark. Alright, All right, these guys are with the fire. There we go, might as well hit that weakness. Oh, these Halloween trees have AoE. Maybe Enraged would be good for them. Get enraged. What, you mad, bro? Get vulnerable. Hopefully this... Hopefully the Tiara attack will do a lot of damage. I really didn't do as much as I was hoping for. That's not good. They're hurting... Right now, right now, right now. Alright, give yourself regen, I guess. Alright, let's start poisoning them so they get weaker. Perhaps I should have opened with poison. Alright, use the big neonite attack to burn to burn through them. Oh, 
it. That region is actually really strong. Oh, whoop, I don't want to... Oh, they're up. They're all getting weakened, at least. Might as well hit the Poison Bane. I was hoping that would do more damage. The ice did okay. Oh, that that actually really does lower your HP to one. Well, Clever Strike is more powerful. Beatrice, Kane, and Genius. Rosalind, learn calm. Right now. Hopefully that trait will come in handy. Right now, let's see. Might as well get rid of Cordial and uh, Doom damage versus Poison. Wait, what? I'm not sure what Doom damage even does, but you know, it sounds like it might be good. No new moves. Alright, do you have anything um, actually useful? Let me power up. Well, that sounds not bad. I want to get rid of cunning. Nope, I can't do that. Alright, Razzlin, did you learn anything good? Before the healing storm. I'll become the healing storm. Oh, I see. That sounds like it'd be pretty useful. That sounds like it's extremely useful, in fact. Oh, I can't go that way, okay. I guess I can't go that way. As to be expected. Alright, more monsters are down here. Alright, I'm going to start off by toxifying them all. Just to lower, just to weaken them. Alright, now, uh, let's see. There we go, attack up. Inspire. Good, they're getting, they're already get, they're already getting weaker from poison. Alright, now, let's hit them with a big wind attack to knock one of the bad guys out. Alright, now, let's inflict vulnerable on them. I may as well. All right, now let's go. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That's good. All right, it's it's. I assume this guy is only one, one HP. And it seems like poison won't actually kill, but it will reduce down to one. Now, yeah, poison seems like it's very effective. All right, now I think I got the MLG strats of the game down now. All right now, might as well go with poison because that's really effective now. All right, might as well increase your attack power. Then I'll go for inspire to damage up. Just the weak, just the. Oh no, I'm toxic. That's that good. Wait, both of these guys are weak to light. I'll just lower their HP a little. Gotta hit with a big poison main attack. Alright, I might as well as inflict vulnerable. Yara toss for big damage, yeah. That's a massive amount of damage, eh? Well, if the strat works, it works. If it works, it works, and I like I like strats that work. Alright, we got a bunch of vile villains. Let's lower their Let's poison them all. And then start by boosting. Get your attack up. And then go for inspire again. I wish I had an attack that was like 
If all enemies are poisoned, do a whole bunch of damage to all of them! Unfortunately, I don't think we quite have that yet. Alright, now let's invulnerable them all. I mean, I guess I can disarm them, maybe. Alright, go for the big attack! Yeah! But they still have so much HP left. Um, Miranda took a bunch of damage. Oh, good thing I got that big heal. Yeah, they're all pretty weak right now. Yeah, there we go. I might as well go for an item. Might as well burn them up. Alright, right, now let's go for a big unite. Ooh, level 27. Unflappable! Corpsing? What the heck does corpsing do? I I have no idea, but you know, that sounds like it might be good. Maybe. It sounds like it's super deadly or something. I don't know. Unflappable! Begin, ba begin battle with Hyper! That sounds excellent. Share ailments when Rosaline with enemies. 400% ailment power. Hmm. I mean, I suppose that could be somewhat useful, maybe. Not entirely sure how, though. Alright, hopefully this... Alright, yo, does this lead to the item? This does not lead to an item. And I think that... Oh, there's the item. There's the item. Hopefully it has... Gagnos and inflicts disarm. I mean, disarm is a pretty good ailment. That could... Oh, wait. I don't think I can quite go those ways. The illusions are like saying no. Alright, now let's... Let's toxify them all! Get toxic. Yeah. Wait, what? Ah, do all our abilities just switch to what... Switch to random stuff? That's kinda bad. All right, let's drop a bomb on them. Right now, earth damage. Hopefully that's big enough to do significant damage. All right, good. They'll be getting weakened from poison. I see that the strat is basically just to start with poison. All right, now, now we got what we need. There we go, get that offense. Yeah, do the big attack, there we go. Alright, might as well repeat the last element. Wait, what, that, that... I was expect. I keep expecting it to repeat whatever she did. I guess that's not necessarily the case. Alright, random damage, go. Alright, bouncing at, go, light damage. But we leveled up again. Interesting. Ooh, the disease ability became more powerful. Infuriate. Raging fire is now more powerful. Ah, well, it's awesome. It's awesome to get stronger, I guess. I might as well get rid of Resolute and get this. UT, Unite ability is always at max power when hyper. Wait, what? Oh, and I mean, that's... I see, that's gutsy. That's pretty good, I like that. Right now, uh... Right now, Rosalind, do you have anything? Nope. Right now, do we have anything? Not quite. Alright, do you have anything, please? Please have something, at least. 
Fortunately, no. I mean, people might. Fairy Gate, maybe Enrage would be useful for something. I think Enrage might be useful for something. Quite go that way. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go over here. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! You know, my idea for making an evil unicorn would be just to make it a white unicorn, only it has uh, dark eyes with the uh, with uh, black fluid coming from them, yes. You know, sort of like Sonic.exe, but you know, much cuter, yes. <laughs> I think it would look super spooky, yes. Wait, what? Why are we in damage absorb? Mm. I don't think any of these will be very good. Alright, maybe the extra turn will come in handy. Alright, now let's aspire to greatness. Alright, they're not. All right, these guys are weak to fire, so we might as well hit them with big. Might as well hit them with a big fire attack. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Yep, and they do AOE Earth, so they might be, might be better to enrage them. All right, I might as well weak, make everything vulnerable. I'll just weak up, oh, but it poisoned them again. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the big damage we're looking for. But I was expecting that to do fire for some reason. I don't know why I keep expecting that. Hopefully this will do a bunch of damage. Alright now, big light attack. There we go. Oh, it must be like down at 1 HP maybe. Get frozen today. This one hit. Alright, now let's do the big poison main attack. Now the poison main attack is really strong. You know, when bad guys are actually poisons. You know, when bad guys are poisons. See a treasure chest over there. Alright, that wow, this place is quite confusing. This place is quite a confusing dungeon. Maybe I'm supposed to go over here. There we go, that got past the illusion net right there. Alright yeah, monsters, prepare yourselves. Alright now, let's inflict the bun let's let's toxify them all! Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? <laughs> Right now, where's the thing that lets me take an extra turn? There we go, might as well go for the extra turn. There we go, get that attack up. I right, inspired a greatness. Yeah. Alright, these guys are weak to winds. There we go. The poison should be able to weaken these guys. I mean, they also inflict poison, which is not good. I don't like being tox- I don't like being poisoned. I like inflicting poison, but I don't like being poisoned myself, yeah. I mean, I suppose that would make sense on any video game, really. Oh, that was a really high roll in that damage. There we go, that's the stuff. Royal Pardon! Whoa, that sounds really good. Oh, and we got some new traits, too. Royal Pardon sounds like it'd be pretty good. Alright, what does the Royal Pardon do? What? It does- it does a high bunch of damage, but it can't actually kill. Deals a high- a whole bunch of physical damage, but it can't heal. 
Uh, why can't, why, but I can't kill. Uh, well, Imogen, why, why can't your, why can't your big attack heal? Why, why can't your big attack kill the bad guys, though? Ailment success up! Oh, that sounds good. I, I, I need that, yeah. If only that remained the best trait in the game. <laughs> oh, wind damage up. That sounds like it'd be pretty good for this area. You know, as... as mm, maybe, theoretically speaking. Alright, anyway, might as well go for the thing that gives me an extra turn. And then go for the attack boost. And then go for height. Go for the... Go for that, and then go for go for raging fire to do a bunch of damage. All right, they're inflicting dark. And I got the AOE earth attack. All right now, let's start. Let's start blowing. Let's start. Let's lower their defense. I was inflict another ailment on them. There we go. That got rid of most of them. All right, well, what ailment are we gonna get? All right, we might as well go for Poison Bane to finish the clean up. Ah, that, that was a good strat. It appears that strat worked. Wait, you're telling me I can't go that way? Well, I can go this way at least. Wait, uh, is that Titania, Queen of the Fairies? The girls, though the illusions many and enemies not few, I have triumphant but a moment and then the endless embrace of death. You mean it might through, through my illusions and soldiers, but it ends now. What is Saitania doing in, as you like it? This isn't even her play. Why does thou torment me so? If a word of mine doth do offend, I seek thy grace, asking for forbearance. The joy radiance from thy noble bro offends? Stop being happy! What? Uh, I decided that happiness is super duper offensive to me. Therefore, stop being happy or else. Yes, for whatever reason. Titania began to tr Oh no, she turned into a spite she turned into a spooter. Oh no, she's she's become like Pennywise, oh no. Can Titania do that? Oh uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it must be an illusion. I can assure you this is no illusion. <laughs> Or Titania is the illusion and this is the reality. Wait, what? Oh no! It really is like Pennywise! Whoa, mind blown! Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> in the name of the cosmos, I shall punish you. Oh no, the fates have foretold your doom. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> no, make no mistake, you, sh you, shall fall you shall fall under no illusion that we will fall for your to your illusions. All right, Titania, prepare yourselves to uh, be uh, defeated, I guess. Prepare to be toxified! <laughs> right now, uh, let's start by... Paradigm Shift, give ourselves an extra turn. All right, now, boost the attack power, yeah! More attack, go! <laughs> oh no, she's attacking. Well, at least her and all her minions will be getting damage from the poison. Yes, that poison is very effective, you see. I wait till I got a bigger charge before doing an AoE. Let's see, these guys are weak to winds. Alright, might as well clear out a minion. Hopefully she doesn't do something silly like spawn more of them. Alright, get inflicted with vulnerable. Hmm. Alright, Titania, get a random oh, wait, I just poisoned her again. Yeah, take all that damage. All your minions are dead. I like that. I might as well become the healing storm just in case. Poison Bane attack, go! Yeah, big damage. Mm. Alright, let's increase that poison damage, I guess. Alright, now what, what do we do? Bouncing act, go! Oh no, she's doing some sort of sound wave attack! Oh no! That's not good. How diabolical! Alright, now heal the party, please. Alright, now. Alright, I have an idea. Let's infuriate the Fairy Queen! Yeah! 
Prepare to get mad, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now. The verdict is in, and you're guilty. Get vulnerable. Eat this! Smart strike, go! Yeah, big damage! Alright, now. Feel primordial forces consume ya! Prepare, prepare for the... Prepare to burn! Let the world and everything in it burn! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're now level 31, yay! Smashing! Oh yeah! Uh, now we learn tortoise? Extra t I don't know what that word means! I learned- Whoa! <laughs> yeah! First we learned how to troll, then we learned how to woo! Rustlands, Winter Frost ability became more powerful. I don't know what that word <laughs> means. The forest is transforming. Indeed, the forest is transforming. Must be how the forest was originally. Free passage through the forest awaits. To run, to meet, to greet strangers for- Oh, uh, uh, what? Now make it easier to run into random people in the forest? Our work here is done. Yes, we just murdered Titania. <laughs> and that's what happened. Worlds of different plays are colliding. Oh, no. I can't believe Titania decided to become evil. <laughs> what do you mean? First we saw words were being corrupted by nightmares. Then we saw the nightmares show up on our, own, on our own world. And now we're seeing other worlds merge in weird ways with each other. Oh, no. The bad guys are playing on making the dimensions convert. They're playing on making all time space converge. So that, so that, the, so that, with uh, chains of corruption, so that they could, um, so that they can awaken a dark lord. Oh, no. Mm. One sec, are we going to wake up one day and find our world isn't the way it was yesterday? We have to stop that from happening. I agree. Any plans? I don't know. I guess, I guess all we can do is keep responding when called. Mm. On a more cheerful note, our theater troupe is going to regionals. Wait, what? <laughs> Ah uh, well, uh, yes, that uh, yes, uh, I'm glad they're reach. I'm glad the uh, I'm glad that our uh, pre theater trope is going to regionals, but we got actual real serious problems to worry about. <laughs> what play are we gonna be doing? It's gonna be special. I think it's clear that we need our fearless leader front and center. Wait, what you mean? It's time to pull out Cybeline. And it's a star in that one, right? Yes, it's like the greatest hit album for Shakespeare. And yeah, debatable, debatable. I think Romeo and Juliet is probably much more well known. Probably because there are so many stories that were inspired by Romeo and Juliet that do basically the same thing. Much like uh, West Side Story, and uh, uh, I hate to say it, Alpha and Omega. Of course, those are only just two various examples. Mistaken identity, cross-dressing, people coming back from the dead, cunning schemes, it's all there. Wait, what? Really? It has, really? It has zombies? I don't know. What it, I don't know if there will be enough time for me to analyze everything. And there's finals coming up. I mean, uh, yes. Also, we got to worry about these uh, world-ending calamities that are coming from somewhere that we know someone or something is behind. But, um, but you know, we we got things to worry about in our real lives. So yeah. You know, a bit like Spooderman. <laughs> It's a lot. It's our best chance of winning regionals. All right, I'll do it. Ah, that's so good. Hello, are you a substitute teacher? You're not going to turn out to be another villain, are you? <laughs> good morning. It's so nice to see everyone today. I'm Mrs. Dunsinner. Well, I mean, you did say good morning, so I assume you're not a villain. And you said it's so nice to see everybody, so you're probably not a villain. You, did, you didn't open by calling everybody worms and giving out unreasonable amounts of detention for no reason. <laughs> I am fulfilling in for Miss Lovegreen, who has an acute case of pretending nice, <laughs> uh, and needs and needs to be needs to see your doctor immediately. What is going on in this? Te what is going on in the teacher's life that is doing all this? Perhaps she too is a magical girl, and uh, the villains are uh, messing with her somehow. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps it's all the cover for her magical girl activities. <laughs> As we talked today, I brought some delicious chocolate cupcakes made in my morning cooking class. Ah, uh, I know you can't be the villain now. You brought cupcakes for everybody. That's very thoughtful of you. We can second them as we discuss Romeo and Juliet. 
Who is Romeo? Who is Romeo madly in love with us? Who started to play? Beatrice, can you help us out with this? He was desperately in love with Rosaline. I don't know what Juliet saw in him. He was rather flighty. <laughs> Correct, Juliet was 13 at the time, so she probably didn't have the best judgment in marriage partners. I mean, I guess. Now, hear me out. What, what city does Romeo and Juliet like, take place in? Let's check it out. Better finish that cupcake and have some water first. Anyone else? Despian, how about you? Do you know? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Sure, let's say it takes place in London. I'm sure that's the wrong answer, though. So close, but I'm afraid it takes place in Verona, the country of Italy. Of course, that's where all the popular feuds would happen. I've done some experiment on various pe pizza toppings, and I like the classes on his opinions. Oh, this guy, this guy is making pizza too? He really is a thoughtful guy. I like him. The rest of the class proceeds in a delicious manner. That was really delicious. I like that. Oh, the gods, when will we start again? I'm going to miss you. Oh, Jen is a bit of a drama queen in this play, isn't she? But she's not going to see her husband for who knows how long. There's no, there's no excuse for not keeping it cool. I, I think I'm good with this scene. Let's go on to the next. We're totally going to win regionals. Yes, that's probably... Also, since... Also, that's probably when the villains are going to strike up for some reason, because this is a magical world anime. Of course they will. <laughs> Don't get cocky. We still need to put in the work. Yeah, it turns out there's just all a plan by the villains to um, try to win this regional event that will um, somehow let them take over the world or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's check it again from the top. <laughs> oh, you see, you, so you got my stuff cat collection. Meow. That's pause. The alien. Wait, what? There's a reference to pause in the game? The alien cat who helped Cthulhu save the world? Wait, what? By the way, is Cthulhu become a villain again? Mm. And there's a cat from the zombie apocalypse time traveling comedy game! Uh, what? That must be one of Z Boy Games' other games that's probably. I remember once some of Z Boy's earlier games were like um, text adventure games. I haven't actually played any of those. I don't think I know where I can find them. Meow. Oh, this one. It's a, that's just a regular cat. <laughs> uh, very well. Very, 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 all right, let's go look for somebody to raid on Twatch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't believe we fought demonic hull monitors and then had to fight Titania that turned into a spooter. <laughs> I can assure you in my lore that Titania is not a spooter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also much nicer and much more reasonable than that. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's read. Just Sasha. All right, my apologies. All right, let's go. All right, thank you, Miss. Thank you, Mister Pun, for the raid. And it's nice to it's nice to have that. All right now, Moonbat raid. Yes. All right, let's go. Please don't be alarmed by the lack of sound. I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm gonna be ending soon anyway. Goodbye.